Hello there everybody, it's Sally here again and I'm here with the last of this term's Tuesday teaching tips. And because it's nearly Easter, a bit of a clue here, here's a song. Some of you might know this, if you don't, here it is. Easter eggs, Easter eggs, yellow, green and blue. Easter eggs, Easter eggs, one for me and you. Easter eggs, Easter eggs, yellow, blue and green. Easter eggs, Easter eggs, nicest I have seen. So two verses, both verses exactly the same musically. Words are slightly different. I won't teach it to you, we're giving you the handout to go with this, so uh, do feel free to download that and use this afternoon, that's certainly what I'm going to do. Um, I have these lovely little Easter eggs which we can get in the shops quite easily these days and I might ask my student which one is the odd one out, which colour isn't mentioned in the song. Um, I might also ask them to put them in order and all these little activities give me an opportunity to sing the song again without the pupil kind of switching off or getting bored. So they might have already heard it at least twice, if not three times, before I teach it to them, which makes it really, really easy to teach. Um, having sung the song um, together, we might then um, think about the phrases, how many phrases. And I'm going to work at them to get them to work out how many phrases there are, which phrases are the same, which phrases are different, um, which phrases have a descending passage. Do, 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 do. How many pitch levels are there in that descending passage? All these little questions that I'm going to ask to see if I can lead them towards being able to work it out in their head. Because this is the beauty of doing songs and this is the beauty of doing, of singing in your piano lesson. The point of singing is to help the children build the mental model and the mental model in their head will help them to realise it more easily on the keyboard. That means that when they come to read notation, if they see that same shape, and of course music is all about shapes and patterns, if they see that same shape on the notation, they have a mental model of it already, and therefore the hands also know that shape, the muscles have a model of it, and therefore it's easier to realise And then if they're just working at individual notes on notation. So we might work out the phrases, we might work out the fact that Easter eggs, Easter eggs, it's just a so, so me, so, so me. And the next one is the so, so, la, la, so. Repeat. So, so me, so, so me, so far me, re, do. And then it's quite easy to play on the piano. You'll see in the, in, the, in the little workbook that we've given you, there's a little graphic that has the Easter eggs, so you don't have to go as far as uh, working out all the pitches. You can see we've written it on a mini stave. You've got the words and you've got um, an I can sheet for your pupils. And finally, you've got a little accompaniment. So here it is. Let's see if I can. Easter eggs, Easter eggs. the end of our Tuesday teaching tips we're going to have a couple of weeks off we hope you all have if you're having holidays around now we hope you all have a peaceful restful time and we'll be back in about two three weeks time I think it's the 25th of April that we're going to come back with more teaching tips thank you so much for coming along and watching and liking do keep liking us and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you after the holidays bye everybody